Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex from Toxic KTV and we're playing Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirrors Remastered Edition and we just got into that uh, freakishly complicated looking room and this is like a Mayan machine with a code puzzle in it. So, uh, alright. This is like a very, 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 very frustrating puzzle, okay? So, um, there are like uh, three, six, seven, eight. So eight per eight, eight. So sixteen pictures, actually, on these wheels, and uh, you have a set of ten tiles right here. And what you need to do is, um, well, every tile here has a combination of the left and the right one. And, um, yeah, so what you need to do is to press one of the tiles, for example, this one. The dial didn't want to move. Oh, well, well okay, let's, let's see. Um, well, you need to back engineer, basically. And this one is random for everything that you, that you have. These are the things that you need to look at, first of all. What you want is the tile didn't move at all. Yeah. You have to look at what this one is constituted out of. So um, you see these brown things and down there. So that would be this plus this one. So what you need to do first is make this tile and this tile press the two buttons and then press this button afterwards basically so uh, let's make this one first we have this one already there and there so these ones are uh, on the opposite sides and they make up for this tile fortunately enough you can push this because uh, we've the entered the code slightly. right on the left side so what we need to do now is this potato-like thing and the potato-like thing has this one here and this one here so let's the move room that. Was dominated by an enormous decorated with the usual Mayan motifs it held two great discs each covered in glyphs right so what you do is turn and turn again and you need to turn this dude like one two three four five six times now gee <laughs> yeah give birth to your colon if you need to right so when you do that you are able to push this tile. Now with that we can push this tile because it's the combination of both. The tile moved inwards and clicked home. Right. And we will do that for all the other tiles. So Let's see, this one is a combination of this and let's see what would be the other one. That one, isn't it? Yeah, the green one with the snake below it and the one with the flower. So let's do the green one with the snake first, I think. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's see. There we are. I'm just doing this one like on screen I'm doing the other two off screen I guess so uh, you know don't have to go through the whole pain of looking at it all right so let's see I need to push you Let's push, what do we need, oh yeah, the flower and 
the Mayan head or whatever it is. <coughs> Gee, turning the flower again. <sighs> Takes a long time. Come on, come on. There we are. Okay. Now let's do this tile. And that one's the combination of these two. Alright, I'm gonna do the other two and I'll see you there. Alright, boys and girls, we got it. And uh, we need to push the last tile. Took like seven to ten minutes to do this now. <laughs> Et voila! George once told me that there's an act to finding secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. Right. Now, don't even think you're done with the game with this. No, 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 you're not. That's actually it's so I thought George. This is it, you know? This is true love. Anyway, I have to leave for a few weeks, and when I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? Labano, that creep. Mm. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. You're walking strange. Lee. Looks like another dead end, Titty Poco. Any ideas? Huh. I was Sit hoping down. for something a little more constructive. Never mind, I'll have a look around. All right, let's take the torch. Torches are always good. That's what Legend of Grimrock told me. And tell him to enlighten me a bit. Look, I need to light this torch. Can you do something clever with a couple of sticks or flint and tinder or... Nice. Always good to have a or lighter a cheesy gun. novelty cigarette lighter, as it turned out. Sure. There's a lever. Touching levers and pyramids and temples is never gonna be... Well, there was nothing else to do around good. here, so I pulled the lever. Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Ah! Yeah. Did it, Poco? Oh my! Whoa! Well, nothing happened. That's what you get for it. <laughs> All right. Great. I had no idea where I was, no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. Still. I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. Right. So this is like a lever lever puzzle. And he just walked through the Charming. torch. Right. So um very little lever lever puzzle, not too bad. Need to pull the left lever as I think. Yeah, might be. First closes down that door. And closes down the other door and opens that one again, I think. Okay. <laughs> now, that's not gonna help me, is it? Unless I pull the left lever again. Something like that, maybe. Because there is actually another door here. Yeah, that's open now. I bl wait, wait, wait. Does that help me? A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Right. 
Did that reset the puzzle? Might be. <laughs> it might be. That that was the case. Alright, let's try that again. Left. Yeah, that opens the door right there. You, you, you could probably see it. If you go back, this door closes, the other one opens. Pull the right one, pull the left one, go back, go through. And that was it. Open that one. I think they were actually bored or didn't have the time to make anything smart now. Out of this room, so they could have made it m much worse, I guess. Huh. Now this one's closed. I don't like that. <laughs> Damn. Do you open now? A stone slab that must yeah, have weighed maybe. tons sealed the door. Can I go through now? Every time I think this place can't get any spookier, it does. Totally. the lever again. I don't even know what this thing does or does not do. Let's go through the door, freaking hell. Um, the statue looked like it. What do I have here? Nothing, that's what. Gee, I'm getting confused by my own level design, whatever. Ugh, oh, gee, I think I know what to do. Yeah, I'm talking about people that think I think things are uh, super easy and whatnot. Okay, let's try and reset the puzzle. Dude, you're stupid. A stone slab that must have weighed tons okay. sealed the door. Now. A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Let's pull the right lever. Let's go this way. Sesame. Yes, finally, I'm out of here. My old torch was dying, and I had no desire to be plunged into darkness. Come on, um, use the torch with the other torch. Come on. So now we have a torch. 
Come on, George, pick it up. Once more into the unknown. and downwards, Mr. Stobart. Come on. Oh. Hi. This was it. The Pyramid Central Chamber. It's dark heart. Once before in my life, I'd stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. This was the door that led to the central chamber and the smoking mirror. And that's why you drop the thing. Um, Broken Sword to the Smoking Mirrors, um, written and directed by Charge Cecil. I know that there is actually a Broken Sword 3 and maybe Broken Sword 2, but they suck balls, really. Not good. Um, there is gonna be a Broken Sword 5, which is crowdfunded, so I think you can actually check it out on kickstarter.com or something. Um, pretty, pretty nice thing, and, um, I have a feeling that this one's gonna be pretty much as 1 and 2 in a revamped version. Better graphics, maybe a bit, but no 3D shit. Yeah, so, um... I guess that's got to be it for the Broken Sword series, unless uh, Broken Sword 5 really comes out. And, um, yeah. I still like this game. Broken Sword 1 is actually my most favorite game. Well, the, the Broken Sword 2 is a-okay. -okay. It is... From the level difficulty and the puzzle difficulty, it's less difficult, but it's still very confusing. I don't like the backstory that much. 
but yeah, you know, there's always something that, that you complain about. But it's a game after all, it's an adventure, and uh, we should cherish having adventure games like that though, right? Or shouldn't we? In any case, um, I'm not gonna go through all the localization dudes that did the work for this game, because we did not play it in the Italian. By the way, I don't speak Italian that good. I actually do not speak any Italian. I know Latin. Latin for sure, but that's it. Um, yeah. So, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do afterwards. Um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming about. You know, Christmas, New Year's, job and whatnot. So, yeah. Ben Thorpe. Probably not the brother of Ian Thorpe. Isn't that a swimmer or something? David Cecil? That's probably the brother. Yeah. So, um, I think we're gonna cut it off here. And, um... Oh, yeah. That's gonna help me. Oh, yeah, there's actually something that you can look at. There's, like, um... Art. Could I speak to Nicole Plart? You have all these fancy drawings and whatnot. Like the backstory and stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna read through all each, that shit. But apparently. I love comic. Woom! Ah! <laughs> yeah, something like that. Wow, that's a lot. Stone, stone, stone. Wow. Pretty good drawings, though. Right. Continued in the game. That's what it is. You also have the uh, things from George. You have the things from Nicolette. All right, guys, so um, that was it for the Broken Smoking Mirrors, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. Goodbye.